Well, hello there, Shirley Rocks here. X4 Foundations Mods. This game does have good support for mods, and this is one of the main reasons I bought it, because I love mods and games like this, because they can change the game from the difficulty to the way it starts to the way it functions. So, um, if you want to get some mods and you want to install them, you might be like, how do you install an extension? There's, uh, I, I, I myself thought you had to install them from in-game, but you don't. You do need to install them, inst install them? <laughs> install them separately. So I've got the Steam versions. So it might be slightly different if you've got the GOG version. Generally, these mods on this website tell you how and where they need to go. So we are looking at nexusmods.com forward slash x4 foundations mods. So you can just go to the route like that there. And then you can you can group by various days and types. You can types you can do sort by number of endorsements, number of downloads. So what's the most successful mod on here? So that's the satellite one. That's had seven nearly eight thousand downloads. Next one is increased long range scanner, and this is the one we're looking at today. Now this isn't a mod as such. This is custom player logos, which I didn't even know you could actually do custom logos till I actually went on this site. Now if we go in here. Uh, this gives you a, once you're logged in, you can see I'm logged in up here. Once you get on to this page here, you then click on uh, file and manual download. And that will download the logs. You can see there's various iterations of the logs there, different versions of it with different types. Uh, generally, you can go to the description and it will give you information about what you need to do. And then there's a post section as well where people talk about it and uh, people are suggesting what mods they want for this one so i've already downloaded this one as you can see here logos 160 now for this one you need to this is an unusual one you need to download this to your uh folder in your documents this is where your save is stored which is different than your mods now logos in here you won't you probably won't have a custom logos folder so you need to go ahead Go to your U C drive, users, username, documents, Egosoft, X4. This is the um, app number, I believe, from Steam for uh, X4 Foundation. Go into that, and then you'll see a logos folder. So if you don't see that folder, which I don't think you will, you need to create it. So create the folder called logos, and then... This is the mod I downloaded. Now, interestingly enough, if you do, um, if I did extract to here, which is not the right thing to do because that extracts it to a folder called logos, which is wrong because you need to have it in the, the numbered folder and then in logos. And then once you're in that, you can, you can copy them all to here like I've done. And here's, here's one I made earlier. So as you can see, you can add custom logos. Um, you go to player information, go to logo, scroll down. These are all the user, the game generated ones. So you can see you can just add loads of stuff. There is Half Life, the Angry Birds. Uh, what else is there? Total is that Total Biscuit? Uh, X4 logo. Uh, Steam. I think somebody said there was a Star Citizen logo. I can't see it though. Is it that one maybe? Or is that, no, it's Marvel. So you can just change to whatever you want these two and then they will just appear on your ship. There you go, like this. I think, the sh are they duplicated around the back of the ship as well or is it just on that one side? I don't think you can choose where they appear. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's better. That's nice, hello Betty. So you can choose whatever you want for this. I've got loads, Google, Daffy Duck. Oh, yeah, they have got the Robert Space Industry one there. You could have a Coca-Cola one. Yeah, I really want a Coca-Cola logo on my ship. Uh, hentai character. Yes. Nice massive missile launchers there. So, yeah, that's how you add that one. Right, now, what you want to know about now is mods. So, let me go ahead and um, we'll leave that open for now because we need to, we need, we need to restart the game. So let us go back to this site and let's look for a mod we want to install. So um, we need to install a mod to the extensions folder. So let us have a little look and see what I find is interesting. So we are looking on uh, sort by downloads all time just to see what is popular with various people. 
So let's see. What can I what can I get that I can immediately show you? Um Hmm. I have got one I can show you, which I actually um I was gonna do as a separate video, but I might actually just do it to show you in this video and then maybe I might do it as a separate separate sneaky video. Uh so we'll do twenty four hours and we will do there's a super highway one. Where are you? No super highways. So Apparently, some people have complained about this. They don't like the super highways in the game. So, if you look at this one here, this is. Um, I hopefully I should be able to install this mod into my folder. So, we will go ahead and download this. So, if we go to files, manual download, and then we are downloading it too. Now, this is different. So, it's wherever your Steam drive is. So, it's Steam. Steam apps, common, X4 foundations, extensions. Okay, if we download to that folder, and then we go to show folder, and then you need to extract here. So I've got WinRAR there for that one, but you can use 7-zip, whatever you want. So as you can see, it's extracted when you've got the um, content XML and the subfolders there. That's all that's in these mods here. Um, then we go back into the game. Okay, and we bring up extensions, and oh no, we can't actually see the mod just yet. So th this is a good little uh, a good little thing to show you. So you can't see the mod now, so we need to restart the game. So we are going to exit the game, and then I'll be right back with the game restarted in a second. Okay, and we are back. So I've got my extensions. And if we go into it now, we can see no super highways is now on by default. So this gets rid of the super highway with a load of nothing. So if we, it's compatible with existing save. So if I load my existing save, we should now have no super highways. So let's see if this works. Okay, so we're in the game now. Let's us get us into space. So now we should have no super highways. So let's undock and see. Here we go. Okay, so if you don't like the super highways, you install that mod. And now look. Super highways are gone. Still got the jump gates though. But uh, let's uh, start guiding towards this one. How far away is this? Yeah, let's get the uh, let's get the zippy thing on. So, if you don't like the whole thing of zipping around the uh, space highway, you can install this thing here, and you can see, look, the actual the gates are still there, but <laughs> they don't do anything. They're just sitting there, going, "I'm just a big hulking thing in space, and you can't use me." So, you can't use them at all now.